346 uh, is a successful program. Its multi-role capabilities just uh, let us uh, force us to introduce the family concept. Family concept uh, means that uh, with the same platform you can actually cover multiple configurations and with this uh, multiple configuration you will cover actually the multi-role. So from the basic trainer, which is retained, uh, third phase, fourth phase, to the light fighter. So one aircraft, one family, for many roles. It's already being used as a, a multi-role trainer at the moment? It is, because it can do the third phase, certainly the fourth phase. It has been used uh, for the let's call let's so called the fifth phase which is the download of the AC OCU so the OCU training for the frontliner fighter now is being reduced in some countries to at least a 50% because the 346 will cover it is that making the 346 act like a, say a Eurofighter typhoon the 346 can change its configuration if asked to a, an Eurofighter cockpit Performances are already there, and so can actually attack the OCU training in terms of uh, downloading. Uh, Israeli Air Forces are doing it already with the F-16, and it's the future. And uh, it has also already been used as an aggressor. So we had uh, some activity in Grosseto uh, with the Italian Air Force uh, playing as an aggressor. So yes, uh, it's already multi-role, but with this family concept, with the fighter attack, it will be even more multi-role. Could you tell us a bit about your test pilot role to turn this into a fighter attack aircraft? Well, we, we all come from the Air Force, so we, we were operational in the Air Force. Uh, myself as a tornado pilot, uh, and I participated in the Gulf War. Then I was a test pilot in the Italian Air Force, and uh, we retain uh, the flexibility to fly multiple aircrafts, so we are very concentrated on 345, 346 and Eurofighter and also on the heavies like uh, the Spartan, the C-27J and uh, this uh, flexibility gives us the, the possibility to actually develop the 346 in the best manner to be a good uh, companion training for the Eurofighter. Could you tell us some of the additions you've put on the aircraft to turn it into a fighter attack? Well, the addition will be the ones that everybody asks uh, for a light fighter. So, first of all, uh, will be the defense system. So, the DAS, radar warning, uh, and the uh, chaff and flare dispenser and a missile warning. Then will be the tactical data link. So, the Link 16 or, or a non-NATO one. And, uh, and then the radar. Everybody is asking for radar in the aggressor role, in the fighter attack role. We have uh, an off-the-shelf radar that everybody around the world appreciates, which is the Grifo. So we will integrate the Grifo. And then about the armament, it's a very customer-related. So we'll wait for the customer to say, okay, I want to, you know, the Payway, the SDB, the Brimstone, whatever is... Uh, is better for, for the role, the specific the role, homeland defense, uh, uh, CAS or BI, they want to they, to they want to use it for. And you've got a recce pod that you're looking at? Recce pod already integrated uh, is the lightning right now. Of course, we can uh, we can change uh, uh, type if uh, requested. It's already integrated aerodynamically. Now we are starting with the integration avionically and uh, the Reiki pod is essential because right now the, the pods around, they both do Reiki and targeting with the same pod. So we will be able to do Reiki missions very effectively because we, our persistence at the medium high level is exceptional and we will be able to do a fighter attack because the targeting pod is, is there and uh, will do his job with the uh, with the laser bombs. And what's next on your trials program? Next uh, is the uh, is continuing the safe separation from the basic armament and the radar integration.
So these are the and, and the dust integration. So these are the main three topics for um, as a as a development testing. So it's more than putting seven hard points on the aircraft. Uh, you're right. Is um, we are progressing all together. The the the, the two additional uh, loading points are already in place, and we'll be starting uh, fly them uh, in a, in a six months time. So in the future, uh, people that buy the M346 will have a trainer and a fighter attack aircraft that can just be uh, converted to operational quite quickly. Absolutely. Uh, we think uh, there is a big need uh, because the, uh, the threat, uh, the operational scenario nowadays ask for this kind of aircraft and uh, many countries are changing uh, their training fleet as well. So a combination uh, uh, logistically and in terms of cost of the two aircraft is a, is a great challenge but is the, is the future.